Rise from your grave. Hey Quakers, welcome once again to another episode of The Quake Grave. Today we're taking a look at a sequel to Starship, the game that we played on May the 4th. This is Starship 2. It's by the same author, Neil Mank, or Mankey, and it was released on November 22nd of 1997. So let's jump into Starship 2 in Sail Through the Galaxy. Here we are, Starship 2. Ten days later, Ice Moon... Let's check that out. Ice Moon Verte, or Vert. Autoland Engage. So it looks like Neil kept up his uh, his cool programming prowess here by putting in these fun little uh, spaceship movements and everything. This is great. Really cool uh, introduction. Obviously, if you were playing these back to back, you would start with all the same weapons you just had. But we just have a crappy axe. Ooh, unstable surface. Okay, we gotta we gotta get out of here. Whoa, that could have been bad. Oh, reskin dog already. Oh. That's okay. You head on down there, doggy. This ice is, uh, it's pretty slippery. You can see him <laughs> moving around pretty fast. Where to? Uh, swim across here, I guess. Ah, uh, fish. Stay away from me, dude. Some tough fish, man. Four shots. And there's our, our friend the dog still running around. I think we'll we'll give him a, uh, a respite from death here. Or at least from drowning in super cold water. There, we took care of him. We'll grab this health. And there's our spaceship. Completely unusable, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna be getting this thing out of here. So we're gonna have to find another way. Let's grab our shells here. Okay, it looks like we gotta make this jump over to here. Oh, didn't quite make it. Let's try this again. Got a little bit of the anti-grav on our side here, so let's see. Wow. I'm moving way too fast on this ice, but I think that's what I gotta do. I gotta move fast and then jump to the, the platform. Oh, jeez. Trying to get the hang of this. This platforming stuff's for the birds, right, people? Man, still didn't make it. I really hope I'm doing it the right way. <laughs> Sitting here, people watching are like, uh, idiot, uh, you could do it this way. No, no, don't fall off the ice. Don't, ugh. So slippery. I feel like we need to do like a Benny Hill like segment with the me slipping off the ice constantly, playing hackety sacks. Just keep falling on my ass as the Quake guy. <laughs> that might be pretty good. Oh my god, that's as much speed as I can get! Okay, so here we are. We made it up! Um, but you're... <laughs> you're not gonna see how I made it up, because, um... I, I could not make the jump. I... From where I cut it, I jumped probably another, like, good 20 to 30 times, and I could not make it, so... I was just like, forget this. I am no clipping up. Uh-oh. Okay. Something... Something weird's going on, people. Is that ogre supposed to be frozen? Is that the whole thing? He's frozen to death? A control box. Who knows what that did? Two hidden doors are open. I am not going back down there, though. He's supposed to be frozen, right? Is that what's going on? Or is there something wrong with the map? Find the override switch. Okay, I hit the control button here. I have to find an override switch. I really hope I don't have to go back down there. Because I may have to no-clip back up here. 
Uh, I'm afraid to even go look, but there's nowhere else to go from here. This needs a override switch, it says. And down here, the elevator just bring me back up anyway, so... Alright, let's go see what happens. I hit the control panel, so... Or the control switch. Oh, okay. We did something, because we got scrags. And I hear more fish, so that's a good sign. Nothing scarier than underwater scrags. How about that? Okay, good. We were supposed to go back here. Dogs are not having a good time. Kill these fish off just to get them out of the way. You're done. You're done. I was going to say, I thought there was another scrag around. And there he is. There. He's down. Let's continue on here. Grab some health. Intruder detected patrol ship alerted. Oh, this isn't good. And I need a sil silver key card to get in there. Oh man, we got a whole boatload of uh, enforcers here. They're coming down to get me. This might be a really good time to throw me a nail gun or something, right? I oh, get this crappy shotgun in the moment. And I'm almost out of shells. Wow! This is, this is not working out for me. I gotta be very careful with how I'm shooting this guy here. There we go, got him. We, okay, there's our nail gun and backpack. <laughs> Where were you during the whole fight? Could've used you, dude. Grab that pack. We got a nail gun, though, so we're, we're moving along here. We got the key card, so let's press on. Where did that come from? Stuff's happening. I can hear it. Oh, great. That's alright. Up we go. There's the override switch. Just what we needed. I can hear the scrag somewhere. Where are you, dude? Wow, there are a ton of guys down here. Oh, there you are. And I'm just gonna pick him off right up here. Because why not? Somebody's remixing that dog, man. I don't think I'm going to be coming back up here, so I'm just going to grab that health. Take a little bit of fall damage, but no big deal. I'll leave that health there for now. Okay, so we got the engaged lock. And I could have swore that thing said it opened two doors, but... Man, who knows at this point. Alright. I'm going to uh, probably have to no-clip right back up there, because I don't think I can make this jump at all. But, you know, let's give it one more shot, just to, <laughs> just to see. Just so I can embarrass myself one more time. Yep, not going to happen. Okay, we're back here. We're taking the elevator back up. And we hit the switch to engage. This guy, I don't know what his deal is. Just totally frozen. Reskin dogs with the white legs are pretty cool. Like the look of them. What do we got going on here? We got one of our ogre friends. We got some grunts. With some new and improved gunshot sounds. They sound pretty good. Something going on below me. Oh, there he is. And he jumped in the water. Sucks to be you. But the, ooh, okay. But there is something going on down here. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, you guys need to fuck right off. Can I get... Okay, good. 
I just need to get away from that fiend. Oh my god. That was... <laughs> that was not good. It freaked me out for a good second there. Did I get the knight, or did he just fall somewhere? What are, you, where, what are you doing down here, dude? Oh, yeah, he did fall down. Oh, there's the knight. Okay, I see. Get away from me with your lightsaber. Try to kill these guys off without getting anywhere near them. There we go. Okay. Grab ourselves this armor, because we are surely going to need it. And we will make our way back up to the bridge here somehow, right? We just jump? Not that way. How are we supposed to get back up? Okay, there's a little alcove here. All right. Interesting. And a big scary frozen frozen sh uh, shambler there. We will try to stay away from him. Let's let's try not to not thaw him out. You're done. There's that. Oh boy, that was not what I wanted at all. Oh, fuck off with that. No! Oh. oh, great, and a dog too. Not what I need at all. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I was not expecting that Shampler. Oh, and let's just... <laughs> Let's just fall through the floor here. Real great. Okay. Okay, we're back at this secret area back where the uh, Chandler jumped me, and I tried to conserve as much, as many nails as I could. And I guess this Chandler here probably should have been a clue as to what was about to show up. Uh, <laughs> but I really didn't expect to see the Chandler around the corner when I was going over here, so this time we're gonna. We're gonna do what we were doing. We're gonna kill Mr. Puppy Dog here. Then I'm gonna go around the corner and just try to blast this shambler here. There we go. I gotta say, I love the uh, the brew uh, brew the blue frozen shambler. I think it looks great. Take this. Take this dog out. Remix the dog, everybody. I have to go over this door. Okay, so... I gotta do some platforming to get over to that, it looks like. Now, I remember when I died here, uh, the lift is what pushed me through the <laughs> through the world. So, uh, we're gonna avoid getting squashed, and we're gonna... get on top here and head back up to wherever this is. I'm assuming this is the other side of the bridge, but... I guess we'll soon find out. Yes, it is. All right. And there's some nails up there I'd really like to get. I'm gonna grab those first. And there we are. And apparently that was a secret. Not a great secret. Grab some health, and we will head back this way. Oh. Lots of repops. Lots of repops. Okay, we'll grab the armor, because why not? And let's continue on. So we gotta do some platforming here. So we gotta jump to here. Ooh, ooh, don't move too fast. Gotta jump here, and then we gotta I gotta get over this door. There we go. Did it! Oh, and there's a base waiting for us here. Let's take out this guy first. And his dog. Oh man, I got a, all kinds of stuff shooting at me here. Oh, I like that. 
Alright, we got some nails. Let's, let's let's just go ahead and jump in here. Kill these guys. Where'd you come from? Flyer control security locked. This guy just flew right over, trying to take me out. But it ain't gonna happen. Not this time. Hey, look at the look at this fish. <laughs> Somehow made it out of the water. Whoa. Where are those grenades coming from? There you are. Didn't know where you were at first. I'm assuming this is locked. You also notice that there's the spider from the first map. Let's see if I can take you out from up here. Or from down here. Take you out up there from down here. There we go. Yeah, the ogre. So how are we doing here? We're at 39 of 59 dudes. We'll grab some health. And we will jump into this ice here, because it looks like we don't really have any other options. So we, yeah, we certainly can't jump up there, so... In we go! Into the dirty green, scary water. Or maybe we don't! In here? Nope. I know it said that it was locked. But how am I supposed to get through that area? Hmm. Oh, maybe I gotta take the flyer here. Is that what we're doing? Taking the flyer? Uh. Maybe not? When I walk onto it, I kind of get... I'm gonna get stuck. I guess I could jump from the flyer to to on top of that thing. Maybe that'll help. Nope. Gotta get the jump off, right? Get up there. Oh, can't quite make it. Again, terrible with the jumps in this level. I can't make any jump. Uh, hmm. I really don't know where to go. I really thought that this thing was going to fly us back. I was, I was anticipating it. I was really looking forward to that. I can almost make that jump, but not quite. Now I can see, you know, if you look closely, I can actually see a doorway up in that top corner up there. It's got to have something to do with what I'm supposed to be doing here. But who knows? I know there's nothing back this way. But I know I got about 20 dudes in there waiting to kill me. And I gotta get in there. You know, we can't let them down, right? Right? Oh, almost made the jump. Nope, the water doesn't work either. And these doors... Yeah, I need a silver the silver key card. Hmm. And where am I supposed to get that? Oh my god, we almost made that. All right, I guess I guess we'll backtrack a little bit and see if there is something we missed. I mean, it's quite possible we got repop somewhere else and they're guarding a key. Wouldn't super surprise me with this level. Seems like there's a lot of a lot of surprise pops, repop stuff going on, so hopefully that's the case. Hopefully it's just like up here on the bridge or something like that. Not always a big fan of these like these levels that have you go on kind of a wild goose chase to figure out where the next step is to take, you know? So I looked around the level, couldn't couldn't find a way into this base. Um so I decided to just use the old no clip here. I assume that thing, the flyer, is supposed to work and take me back up here, but I, I don't 
I don't know for sure, so I can only assume that this is where I'm supposed to be. So I'm just gonna take it from here. Oh, you with your lightsaber. And then here's this area. Okay, so... Yep, this did open. Okay, so where are we going here? You guys didn't pop at all. Ooh, we got a knight, we got a hell knight. Really wanting to get a piece, but he's stuck. Stuck in the counter. Oh, I like this. There's like some... <laughs> I'm looking good. Look at this. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty great. Okay, we got the key card. And you can even hear the music out here. Love it. Okay, we got the key card. Let's head in. It only works on one side. Kind of weird. Dark hallway that way. Let's go this way first. And of course there's a shambler waiting for us. Whom I cannot shoot. But since we know there's a shambler, I'm going to conserve my nails. And take that guy out. Sixty-four nails on me. And you got a key card behind there, so I assume I have to let you out. But luckily I got some protection here. Well, not for long, once I run outside. Nope. Sorry, dude. You are not getting me this time. If I could hit you. There we go. He is down. Oh, it's a toggle switch. Very nice. Got ourselves a gold key card. We got some nails. And we are only 10 or 11 enemies away from finishing this thing. So let's do just that. Ooh, something happened, but I can't see a damn thing. Okay, I'm gonna... Whoa! Out of nails. My captured rocket! A lift is lowering outside the door. Outside which door? Oh, there's another Hell Knight. Okay. Oh, there was the lift. I saw it. Oh, jeez. All I got is the axe left? Go lift. Okay, I I can't. Oh wait, you know what? I got a rocket launcher. What am I thinking? There we go. Little bit of jibs for the fun of it. There's our lift. I'm gonna have to watch myself though, because I know I knew it. I knew there was gonna be you waiting for me. Where the hell are you? It's so dark, I can't see. Jeez. Again with the darkness. Where's my, where's my lift? There it is. And you are, you are just like hanging out waiting for me here, aren't you? But you're stuck there, so that works for me. Oh, get out of here. Okay, we hit that switch. So tight. Switch is locked from below. I need to get in there to finish. Switch is locked from below. What does that even mean? Oh, I see. We gotta get there. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> this weird back and forth thing going on.
Kill him first. Kill him. There we go. Okay. So we hit. And we got another Hell Knight waiting for us there. Oh shit. Okay. Not moving quick enough here. We got him. Okay. We bring this down. Right? Then I have to jump on this weird thing. Oh, and then I'm squished. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, so we're back in this room. There's our exit to the rocket ship. And here's the switch that tells us, hey, the switch is locked from below. So we're going to head down and see if we can unlock our switch here. And let's not forget our, our friend the Hell Knight here waiting for us. Boom. You are dead, my friend. Okay, so last time I got completely smished by this thing, so this time let's try not to do that. Let's try to ride it up, and I'm going to try to jump off and hit this thing at the right moment. Jump! Yeah, we got it. Okay, great. So now I guess I got to go all the way back up again. There, ooh. Don't want to get smushed. I'll have to go press it again and wait for it to come back down again. Up we go. Cool. Okay. We hit this. And I'm assuming... Oh. This thing? Okay. Where's this, where's this taking me? To another switch. Yep. Okay. There it is. It's opening. See, now we can get to the rocket ship. Let's let's make this a little bit more triumphant, though. Like, dun, da da dun, da 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 Onto the rocket. I'm out of here. Boom! And there we go. It doesn't take off. Oh, it does take off! This is awesome! Yeah! Look at that! Super cool. Neil does not disappoint with the endings of his levels. This is... This was pretty awesome. The unfortunate thing is that Starship 2 is not as good as the first Starship. It, yes, I mean, there, there are some amazing things going on in this level. I, I love the, the Frozen area with the Shamblers. Like, that probably could have been extended a little bit to show, like, more Frozen characters. Like, to show that th this is, like, an icy, scary, tundra planet, you know? Um, but it, it, it's like... Uh, I don't know. There's just pieces of the level that don't work for me. Like, the beginning area, I, I couldn't make it up onto that platform. I don't even know if I was doing the thing I was supposed to be doing, but it... To me, you're on an anti-gravity level. I'm thinking, like, oh, you should be able to jump from this thing to this other thing, right? And that's what he's... That's why he put this platform over here. But yeah, the, that wasn't the case, and I actually had to no-clip my way around to get to that, which was pretty annoying. Um, and then the, the area with uh, the flying uh, craft thing. I, I don't know if that was supposed to take you back up to the top area of the building to get in or what, but wow, yeah, that that part didn't work out either, and I had to no-clip up there, so... I don't know, it kind of loses a lot of points because of that. Like, it, it probably works perfect with the normal Quake engine. I mean, after all, I am using Quake Spasm, so maybe that has something to do with it. Um, but, but when levels do, you know, when they happen to have things like that, big pieces that... Um, don't end up working and getting you to where you're supposed to go to complete the level. I mean, that's a, it's kind of a big knock. Um, love the a lot of the, the custom work, though. The custom skins still look great. Like I said, I, I wish the uh, Frozen Tundra area was a little bit more elaborate. Um, but, uh, I mean, overall, there's some very impressive stuff in here, but it's kind of weighed down by uh, just, you know, little hang-ups here and there. Uh, if you played Starship 1, I mean, you might want to check this out just to see the sequel to the first one. Um, I fully recommend playing the first map, for sure. Like, you, you definitely got to play that one. And while this one is very ambitious, I, I, I think it's worth checking out just to see uh, the different things that Neil is able to accomplish with it. Like, the, the spaceships moving around while fighting and the, the rocket taking off at the end. The, you know, the cool exits and whatnot. But... I don't know. It's, it's hard to, to say play through this when it has, like, game-breaking bugs like that in it. Um, but yeah, you know, 
you at least got to watch it here, so if you don't feel like playing through it, at least you got to see the rocket launch. Until next time, Quakers.